Greetings from Kemi, Finland, from Rovaniemi. We took a train down to Kemi, and we are now at our final destination here in Finland. But we are ending it with a grand finale because today we are boarding a 1960s icebreaker vessel. So we just got off the bus and there are probably three other tour buses. So it's definitely gonna be a full ship but I'm still extremely excited for it because it's honestly so cool looking. I believe the ship is from the 60s and you can definitely tell. We have officially boarded the vessel and it is a full house on this ship. We've been saving our seats because we have a wonderful window spot and we have just now taken off and you might be able to hear the ice breaking outside but it is one of the coolest things I have ever seen in my entire life. So I just went outside to look at the ship breaking the ice and it is such a cool experience because the ice doesn't just break and stay where it is, yeah. it gets aggressively pushed onto the ice beside the ship and you can see how thick it is and yeah. it's spraying water everywhere and essentially what the purpose of a icebreaker vessel is, it is to break ice for other ships so that they can get passage to certain ports and certain areas that they wouldn't have been able to otherwise because they can't sail through ice. So similar to how a snow plow clears snow out of the streets for cars, this vessel does the same thing for boats. So it creates channels so that other boats can reach the harbor. And I thought that was a really cool analogy as to what this thing does. I also just learned that this vessel breaks the ice using its weight, so it's a lot heavier than normal ships, and because it is, it's able to break through the ice and then push it out of the way. So we've now moved downstairs to the dining room. There are all of these portholes that look outside, and the entire design of the ship overall is from the 60s, so it's unlike something that you normally will experience when you're on like a modern ship. Guys, it's an old bell. Oh. <laughs> Another little fun fact for you, turns out they don't use this ship anymore because it is too tiny. The ships have gotten bigger and bigger and this one just couldn't keep up. So this is now just used for tourism and they have bigger icebreaker vessels that will actually clear the way for the ships. Oh, I didn't yeah. even know that. I've got all the facts. <laughs> <laughs> So we've now wandered up to the bridge and this is where all communication on the ship would have happened way back when in the 60s and 70s. Obviously I don't think they use this equipment anymore. Communication has gotten a little bit easier since then. I can actually hear that the engines are slowly being like turned off and it's getting a lot quieter on board. That's because we're no longer breaking through the ice and the ship has parked and we're about to go out onto the ice to see what the ship looks like in the middle of the sea. Fall through. We are currently standing in the middle of the Gulf of Bothnia. Absolutely insane. This is really fun to walk on because you kind of fall through at some point, so you're like, oh, mini heart attack. <laughs> but wow. <laughs> <You're> crazy. <laughs> The time has come for us to go and put on some dry suits so that we can float in the icy cold waters of the Gulf of Bothnia. Definitely wish us luck. <laughs> I know you can't really tell, but this is definitely our coldest day in Finland so far. I believe it's about 8 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, everything is not warm my body. <laughs> oh. You good? <laughs> How does my face look? <laughs> you look pretty cute. Your chin is sticking out. Is my chin sticking out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Good luck! Oh, thank you! Stick here? Stick here? Yep, I'm putting the leg in the water. Take your towel. And then move closer. The most that you can. Give me your arm. Okay. And move a little bit closer so it's easy to dip in. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, this is so fun. If this would be so cold if the suit failed. I'm coming for you. Here, oh my grab my paw. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> my baby. <laughs> this literally feels like a really nice water bed. It's pretty warm inside. Yeah, this I'm is like really warm. pretty shocked. What's really interesting is right now we should be in extreme pain. Just like our first video in Finland. Yeah, like, <laughs> like what we've experienced before. But I feel nothing. Just yeah. peace. I have to say, I think in certain seams I'm getting a little bit of water coming in, but it's not a lot. Either that or it's just the outside of the suit is extremely cold. We can't accidentally pee. <laughs> <laughs> what a good way to end our trip. They even come with pillows. Do they? Yeah. Do I have a pillow? Yeah, you have a pillow. Do I have a pillow? I can't see. <laughs> Do I have a pillow? I don't, I don't have a pillow. No, you don't. Oh, you have a pillow. <laughs> oh. This is really nice. Why sleep in a warm bed when you can just float on the Gulf of Bothnia? <laughs> Wow, Claire, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> I got a ball of ice. <laughs> Come here, ice. <laughs> I got a piece of ice. <laughs> wow. I can't. <laughs> Thank you. Chad is out of the lobster suit. <laughs> oh, wow, that was fun. So we just made it out of our suits and I have to say the first thing I noticed is right when you put your suit on in the beginning, you instantly kind of lose half of your senses. Yeah. And I felt like I kind of became dumb. <laughs> like I was not able to tell like where my feet and my hands were. It basically just like suctions your face and that feeling just kind of like makes you disoriented yeah, and you're just you can't like, hear very well. yeah, you can't hear anything. You don't really feel anything because it's keeping you so warm and you're just like, what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> and then they just like kind of slide you in the water and you're just like, ah, in like your own little world. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the workers are having the best time. They're just like laughing at all the people. We're just kind of like little um, amoebas. Yes. <laughs> Amoebas. In the water and they're just like sloshing us in, sloshing us out. <laughs> yeah, honestly, it is expensive to be on the ice cream vessel. Not a cheap payment. <laughs> Not at all. But I think that little activity that they have makes it so worth it. Yeah. I also think what made it extra special is because it was so cold today, whenever you get out of the water, your, your suit is already frozen. Yeah. You can hardly move your like body. It's like it's slightly frozen as right. well. Yeah, a piece of my cheek froze and I was so worried about it. <laughs> It was in so much pain. <laughs> Anyhow, we have an hour ride back on the vessel and then we will be getting off in Kemi and then wrapping up our time here in Finland. Thank you. 
so we just got off the ship and they handed us a very special piece of paper. We with... got diplomas <laughs> for going on the icebreaker vessel. We can hang it on our wall when we get back. Yes, what a nice little takeaway. We are now going to head to the grocery store, pick up some dinner, and then we're going to head on another overnight train so that we can ride back down to Helsinki. back at our wonderful little room. We're not gonna miss our stop this time. <laughs> Ooh, green sheets this time. Home sweet home. Yes, good to be back. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, we have a nice big bag of groceries because we're going to make our own dinner tonight aboard this lovely train. <laughs> so first of all, we had some rye bread over in Helsinki and Chad absolutely loved it. Mm -hmm. but apparently he was eating the dried kind, is that yeah, correct? Yeah, apparently it was drier and there are other kinds that a lot of Finnish people recommended. Yeah. So we decided to get that while we were at the grocery store. Yeah, so you guys were recommending this specific brand and we got two different types of it. To go with our delicious rye bread, we also have lots and lots of smoked salmon because the salmon here has been out of this world. We want to take advantage of that and eat some more before we head out. Of course, some cream cheese to pair with both of those items. Pickles, because we've been eating so many pickles here and they've been so delicious. We got a whole jar. And then lastly, we do have some potato salad to sprinkle in some vegetable in there. <laughs> so that is our feast for tonight. We're going to get started on making our little salmon and chicken sandwiches and then we will shower. <laughs> Can't wait to shower. <laughs> Cheers to a very fantastic trip in Finland that we're going to remember forever. Cheers! <laughs> I think we're gonna start wrapping up the night, getting our showering, going to bed early because we wanna make sure that we are not locked on the train this time around because it was um, traumatic last time. Yeah, <laughs> also because we have to catch a flight tomorrow, mm -hmm. um, which is really crazy. We yeah. will actually be going back home. Hopefully by the time we get back, the house will be ready for us to start renovations. And with that, we want to thank you guys for joining us here in Finland. Yeah. And the next time we see you guys, we'll be back home Tennessee. Bye!